So this is an eye chart. Again, you guys will get this presentation afterwards. Um, but basically what that funnel is is the ACMA model, right? Um, and sometimes called the IDA model. Um, that's on the right side. Um, this is kind of the stuff that I've already kind of gone over. Uh, you have to be extremely targeted in terms of your uh, perspective uh, client base. Segmentation of the market, segmentation of your cohorts. Um, and then the ultimate goal here is you finally want to have within your funnel, remember that uh, the different channels that we have on this left side, as your branding starts to get more aware, then you have some people that are actually self-selecting them saying, oh, that, that's actually me, I want to try your product or service. Um, going back to, you know, everybody should, is anybody a Series A funded yet? No, I'm sorry, I probably should know all this. Uh, seed round funding, some of you guys? Okay. Nobody in here should purchase, uh, should purchase, should hire anybody in sales unless they're past the Series A. Again, my point of view, so take it for what it's worth. You yourself, have to be the salesperson. You yourself have to learn how to market because it's gonna be through your vision. I don't care if you're an engineer, you don't like people, figure it out. Or have a, get a founder that has a, that's a little bit of a hybrid of an engineering and sales background. But you need to figure out the marketplace and you gotta be able to do that coming in to get your first round of clients. And then after your Series A, because again, look at what it is fundamentally, right? You have your Series Seed, is your proof points. Series A is when you're trying to get uh, your salespeople. How am I doing on time, by the way? I have a feeling I'm encroaching a little bit. Time-wise, okay. Um, so be excellent people in, in marketing content. Figure out your marketplace. I can't stress that enough. Um, skip on pricing for right now. Trial usage experience and post-pricing. That kind of, all this stuff right here, as, as we look at this, this funnel, should be laying on the side, and that's what it, that's all what we were talking about a little bit earlier. Now pricing, pricing is one of the topics that I get all the time. How do we know we're properly pricing our product? This is, uh, this is actually more of an art rather than a science. You have to be able to find that delicate match. What I usually look at is what problem are we solving? And again, this goes back to basics. How much is that worth to that person and how do we metric that out, right? Are we saving them X amount of time? Are we saving the next amount of time in the marketplace? And what does that actually compute in their world? Are we doing a one hit wonder or are, do we have annual recurring revenue because once we brought them on? Those are the things that you, have to, that you have to evaluate. If it's a one hit wonder and once they buy the product, they're never gonna be coming back, then that price valuation has to be high. If it's a subscription based model, which are some of my favorite because I love annuities, then you want to create that price point low and make it as frictionless as possible and try and absorb as much market as possible. Any questions? So this is kind of the flow chart, right? As we look at, you know, this is, I'm a big visual person. We have to think of where do we sit in the life cycle of these clients, right? Of these prospective clients. What we're trying to do is we're trying to extremely hyper-focus on the targeting, bring in awareness, positioning ourselves against the competition. And then you're gonna be bouncing around this entire segmentation right here, right? Some people are gonna come in, they're gonna like your service, your product. You're not, it's not gonna be fully baked. They're gonna bounce off, right? That's when they sit in that, that left end of that funnel that we were talking about. But then as you guys keep iterating on your product and service, you're probably gonna create some more added value and those people might be coming back. And that's why you have to be extremely diligent in terms of keep marketing, keep marketing keep putting your voice out there, trying to do different things, and trying to keep that product uh, strategy moving uh, at a faster pace.